Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, Virgin Galactic. We are now officially in a uh, short squeeze. <coughs> Excuse me. We're up 9.3% right now. I have two positions, my Roth position and my main brokerage position. Now, over the weekend, I was getting lots of comments saying, uh, why has it gone down? <coughs> I explained why it went down in several videos. If you've not yet checked out those videos, I actually put out specific videos explaining exactly what happened over the 24 hours, what would happen. We show, we share with you a chart and uh, it did exactly what we expected it to do. It went down and then this morning we had a bit more down uh, downtrend and now it's taking off. So if you want to check out those videos that you've missed here on the homepage of my YouTube channel, all you do is select videos here at the top and you will see the questions I was asked. I answered all your questions the last 24 hours, how we got here uh, and the action that we took to get uh, Virgin Galactic and uh, all of you to start uh, talking about Virgin Galactic. People got very lazy and there was a lot, there wasn't much going on. On, but there is plenty going on now. What we've got now, though, is FOMO. So I want to bring this back to common sense right now. What we've got now is FOMO. Now, I always buy when everyone's selling and I sell when everyone's buying. There's never any drama here. There's never any stress here. We get excited. We have fun, but we don't do FOMO. FOMO is kicking in now. Now, why is FOMO kicking in? Why did it go down? What happened? Well, we need to understand and we need to go back to the beginning just for a few moments. We've only got a few moments to do this video. This will be a short video, so please do smash the like button and uh, subscribe and ring the bell. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if you click above my head, you will see my Twitter where I post information before I make it in the videos. Go up to there and you'll see my Twitter account, which is at Martin Investor. All right, now then. The reason why it went down is a lot of people have lost a lot of money on this stock over the last uh, few years. We all know what's gone on uh, with Virgin Galactic. I don't need to repeat it too much. However, every time we look at this chart, it tells us everything we need to know. We get a flight, we get a test flight, we get a dilution, and it always comes like this. Now, what we've got now is a completely different market. However, uh, this was a very, very bull market. Everyone was looking for the new thing. They were sat at home on their phones during COVID, and whatever whatever looked new and exciting while you're sat on your phone at home, bored you bought. And when when people are talking about space, and of course, at that time, Tesla was exploding and no one could buy SpaceX at the time. Of course, you can. If you're a large private investor, you can go directly with 25 grand. But if you're a retail investor like me and everybody here, then you can't really. So Virgin Galactic was the option. And what that means is a lot of people have got their fingers burned and it also trades like a meme stock. People jump on this who have no idea of the stock, pump it, dump it. We've got shorts, shorts going on all over the place. So what that does, that presents excessive volatility on the stock. Well, that presents me with opportunity because I know that the stock can trade up, not because of the value, but I know it can trade up to $100 when we start flying. Now, we had extra good news. We all knew that we were going to get the flights for the Italian Air Force. We all knew that unless there was any issue. And of course, there always can be issues because let's be honest, it's a, it's a rocket company. Things can go wrong. We always knew there could be a potential issue. Uh, however, that's all good. What we got extra was the regular monthly flights. That we knew was, was the plan, but we didn't know when. We now know that's happening next month. So no more waiting. Of course, if we got delays and there was issues and problems, then this stock is going down to 150. And that's what a lot of people were hoping on, hence why they were shorting it. However, the news is just too rich. The news is just too good. We've got the flights literally in a couple of days' time. I will cover it live on the show. If uh, if you want to know when I'm going to cover it, make sure that you click here to all the light. You click above here to the live playlist or the Virgin Galactic playlist, and you'll be kept updated. Very very important though. If there is news all of a sudden, some of you, about fifty percent of you, actually miss the breaking news because you've not done this. So I'm going to help you out now by sharing this with you. When you subscribe to my channel, it's a little bit of uh, education here. When you click the subscribe and you can check right now, you can click subscribe and unsubscribe and check it. Is the bell turned to all? That means notifications are turned to all. Now that's not enough in itself. 
You also need to go into your device and make sure that your uh, device has notifications for uh, for YouTube turned on. Then you will be notified of when I go live. So if something breaks and you need to know about it, a flight, something like that, you'll be notified. Okay. So there we go. Now, of course, that does notify you for every time I go live. So you might, you know, not want to know about that, but there's nothing I can do about that. You either want to know when I go live or don't. You can't pick which feeds you want, unfortunately. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, just Virgin Galactic feeds. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So there you go. So Virgin Galactic, I'm holding. I've added to my position. A couple of days ago, I think on Friday, I added more. I went into my brokerage position and I bought, let me share with you. There you go. Another 100 shares. I bought when it went down another 100 shares at $4.68. Let's have a look at where we are now. So I've made some good profit from those shares. Am I selling my position now? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I know the value of my shares right now. And at the end of the day, around about the four, 450, where we are, we're, I mean, we're a dollar up from there, but four, 450, at that price, you are paying for the cash they hold on the books and nothing more. The cash they have in the bank, if you work out how many shares there are, Times that by times that by the value of those shares. That thereabouts because they're spending it, so it's always moving. Thereabouts, you're buying the cash. You're paying for the cash. So for me, this is a very very good buy, knowing that we've got the flights around the corner, literally this week uh, and uh, um, within the next seven days. I beg your pardon. And then we've got uh, regular flights throughout uh, uh, July on August. So at the end of the day, right now is a buy because you're paying, you're not paying for the business, the goodwill, the customers, the extra business, the rockets, the assets, you're paying for the cash. So if there was ever a time to buy Virgin Galactic, it is now. However, you should already be in, of course. So there are people who are not in, and that's why the stock's going up. So what are you doing? Are you holding your position? I would like to know. Leave me your comments below with your position, and let's get a feel for everyone's position. So when this video comes out, I'm making it during a live video, as I do with all my videos. I'd like you to um, go below the video in the comments and tell me how many shares that you own, and uh, whether you're bullish or bearish, um, and, and what's your position likely to be. And, and like you to remain. I'd like your thoughts. So go below and I will reply to every one of my members. And if I've got time after that, I will uh, endeavor to reply to everybody else. I have to focus on my members. I spend about two hours a day now replying to comments. There's going to come a time very soon when it will be members only. But right now, I can still just about reply to everyone. And I do personally, no AI, no automatic. I do reply to everyone. Here it goes again. Virgin Galactic is starting to pump again. So there we go. Uh, until next time, as always, take care of yourself, your money, your crypto, most importantly, and each other. And our condolences go out to the family of uh, one of our explorers who was in the submersible uh, involved with the, with the Titanic, who is actually a uh, Virgin Galactic um, ticket holder. Our support and condolences to his family go out. Um, very sad news involved with that. Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other.